Alright folks, we're back again. Today we're going to be talking about this uh, lens that I have on. It comes with the lens hood. It's really nice. You gotta go and take a look at it before it's gone. Like a mint condition lens hood right there. And soft case. Styrofoam. Little manual right there. Bada boom. And here we got this lens inside. Now, this lens is like mint condition. It says mint minus on it. It says mint minus on it, but it's like mint. Can you see that? Right? I won't move too fast for you. There you go. Look at that. You see that? Not too bright, not too dark. Right. Okay. And that is the problem the vibration reduction. It has an intermittent fault. Okay? That means a lot of times it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Usually what I do is before I remove this or before I shut the camera off, yeah, when, when, before I shut the camera off, I shut the lens off like that, yeah? Then I shut the lens off and I leave it off, okay? I won't turn it on until I actually attach the lens to the camera. That way, it usually works. But there is no guarantee with this. That's just the vibration reduction. So therefore, if you need a vibration reduction, and that's the most important part of this lens to you, then I suggest not getting this one, maybe looking for a brand new one. They're about 600 pounds. Um, I think you can pick one up at Grace of Westminster um, or, uh, you know, Wex Photographic or anything like that. Anyway, um, but this is a really really beautiful lens and it works beautiful Ex even the vibration reduction works beautiful on this lens okay look at that it's mint condition look at the zoom can you see that zoom look at that smooth inside oh that's a little bit of dust on the outside no dust do you see that it's like brand new inside i don't know if you can see that can we move this a little bit to uh the light all right, you can, can, yeah, so you can see inside there, that's beautiful, all the way through, like mint condition. The autofocus system works beautiful. The manual works smooth. You know, you put it in manual, and look at that. There's no squeaking to this. It's, it's absolutely, from zero to infinity, smooth. And when you put it in, can you see that? No? Yeah? And they even inside the aperture blades, perfect. Let me lower that. See that? Right through. So, that's perfect. Let me show you it working. Now, this is a full frame lens. It's not the AFP, okay? So, if you think it's the AFP, it's not. It's the older model, the um, VR AFS. Let's see, I'm going to show you that right now. Put that in autofocus. Listen, you hear that? You don't hear nothing. Beautiful, isn't it? And uh, now that the lens is off, now I'm going to put the VR on and see if I can get a reduction. Now listen, when I put this on VR, I'm going to put my ear up against the lens. Because you can, you can just about hear, if you got good hearing, you can just about hear the motor running. And it goes, and that's how you know it's on. Okay, so we're going to try it out right now live. And it's working. It's working. You see? This is it. That's number 148. You might have to drop that down. Okay? Can you see that? Now I'm going to take a picture of the books across there. I'm going to drop the ISO down to 1,000, okay? All right, I'm going to drop the ISO 1,000. And, um, and I'm going to take a picture of the... You should be able to hear me take a picture of the books, okay? You can bring that over to me a little bit. I don't know if you can loosen that up and bring it over to me, okay? We're going to take a picture of the books. It's very far away. I'm going to use it on 100. Now that is 
One fortieth of a second going on here. One fortieth of a second is kind of slow for such a long up to a hundred mil lens, okay? If I put it to, let's say, 200, right? That's one twentieth of a second. Now that's too slow and my hands are shaking and vibrating. Right? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That was live, folks. You're looking at that? Looking at that? Look at that. Can you see that? Now, let me show you it again. There it is, number 149. I'm going to push this up 1 20th of a second. Do you see that? I don't know if you see that. It's very important for the people to see that. That that sharpness came at 200 mil at 1 20th of a second. All that information is there, yeah? Right, okay. So there you go, folks. The vibration reduction is working perfectly right now. But, ooh! Good, it's still working. It's still working. And what I do is I shut it off from here. You see that? I shut the vibration off first. Then I shut the camera off. Then I can remove the lens kind of awkward you know uh, a brand new one shouldn't have that little intermittent fault and if you do run into a case where you make the mistake and you say oh my goodness uh, my vibration reduction is not working again um, you have to kind of flicker the thing back on and off and you might have to shut the camera off in order to get a result all right am I still on all right cool so so uh, that's what it is, but it's a really nice lens. It's a beautiful lens. If you don't need vibration reduction, this is a perfect lens. But if you need the vibration reduction, you know, here and there, and you don't mind messing about, um, so as long as you remember to shut it off every time, um, you should be all right. But like I said, it's got an intermittent fault. You might be able to repair it. And if you can repair it, that's great for you. Um, otherwise, um, you know, it is what it is. Okay, guys, I'm going to let it go right there. You guys take care of yourselves.